What's going on, YouTube? Lockout men back. We're we're starting a commentary from a from a different place than usual. We starting the commentary from outside. Beautiful day, man. I mean, it's it's a beautiful day. The sun's out. It's hot. It's uh, I don't know, about 70, 60, 70 here in Missouri. So I'm on a highway, getting ready to finish up my day, officializing my hours of service, by the way. And uh, I happened to look up on the billboard and it was like a casino with truck parking. I said, oh, hell yeah, that's what's up. Shit. If I find a casino with truck parking, I'm there. You know, I checked out the time, see how much time I got left. And, uh, I was like, maybe I see if I have enough time to get here. Well, I made it here. Plenty of parking. Actually, actually where I parked at, is this look like the main parking lot, I think. But they do got a, a parking lot for the truckers like on the other side. But I've seen one, two, there's one around behind mine and and another one behind this, that van right there, that little RV. So I was like bumping. I'm gonna, I'm gonna park there. We are here at Century Casino. I don't know if you guys can, can see it all the way over there, but this is where I'm at. How many cars is in this parking lot? This is like, this, this right here, I don't think it's just a, a, a casino. <laughs> okay. I don't think, it's, it's like a neighborhood casino. So I can guarantee you that there's no poker in here. Uh, ha, ha. Can y'all hear me out there? Can y'all hear me good? Can y'all hear me good? I know y'all can hear me good. What's going on, y'all? Lockout men back in the building. Uh, how y'all feel? What's up? Yo, y'all, you know, in the beginning of the in the beginning of the intro, you know, because I did the I did the commentary intro while I was on my way to this particular casino. And when I rolled past, you know, when I rolled past the billboards, it was like a couple of billboards on uh on the highway. And it was like, yo, come on through. If you're a truck driver, come on through. You know, you know, we got plenty of parking for you truck drivers. I was like, yeah, all right. So I looked at my time and I was running my time out because I'm trying to be more efficient now. So I ran my time out and I think I had about maybe an hour 20 or something like that. I know, I, I know when I got here, I had maybe like 30 minutes left on the clock or something like that because I am trying to be efficient with my hours. Um, so I got here and at first it didn't, nothing looked familiar. Not, nothing looked vaguely familiar. It, it didn't. Nothing was, was familiar when I came up in this parking lot. But as I got out of the park, as I got out, started, you know, started walking towards the casino, it still didn't hit me yet. You know, where you guys want to know where I'm at? Well, we're out here at Century Casino. And it still didn't hit me yet until I actually started walking down the dock. This look vaguely remember. I... This, this look painfully familiar. Oh, you know what? Oh, I've been here before.
Hey, y'all, uh, is are y'all regulars? Are you are you regulars? I mean, what y'all y'all not familiar with the casino? Oh, okay. Okay. Because I I looked at the I looked at the front of the building and it was like desolate, it was empty, and I was like, damn, this don't this don't even look open. So the restaurant part wasn't. It wasn't open. So I walked down. I started walking down the the corridor. And all of a sudden I started has, having deja vu. I was like, I remember. I remember this. This look vaguely familiar. And I'm I'm still walking down the corridor and I'm like, wait a minute. I've been here before. It was up under another name. So I get to the uh I get to the uh security guard and we had this exchange. Hey uh didn't this used to be a different name? Huh? Didn't this used to be Luck, luck, lucky lady, lady luck. Lady luck, Alec Capri. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Ascar. It used to be Ascar back in the day. Ascar. <laughs> yeah, I came here when it was Lady Luck. Man, how long ago was that? Lady Luck. How, how long ago did y'all change your name? Uh, when, whenever they shut down, uh, it was last year around January. Because when they shut down for COVID. They remodeled, they changed the sign out because the sign was still the same. Right. They shut down for COVID and then they brought the construction crew in to go ahead and knock it out while nobody was here. So is this still, do, do y'all got a poker room or no? Oh, they have a, uh, actually, when you walk through and you walk through the next door, walk through the first sliding doors, there'll be a little breezeway you can walk through and there's table games over there. Blackjack, Mississippi Stud. Yeah, now before poker. that, y'all didn't have all of that. Y'all just had it on the one side, right? Well, when I came here before, I didn't think, I don't think y'all had that many table games. Uh, they I, don't have that many. They have, they have like four blackjack, two Mississippi studs, one three-card poker, uh, five-card poker. I, I think it's Mississippi stud. I'm not for sure. Okay. And they have a big crap table. Okay. But they also have an electric roulette table and an electric blackjack table. Oh, uh, okay, they, okay. They, they used to have, they used to have, uh, back in the day when it was Ascar, they had, Table games on the first level, right. table games on the second, and table games down below. They had three different decks of table games. Just table games. So this is on a boat? Yeah, it's on the boat. That's exactly. what I thought. The water. That's what I thought. When, when you first walk in, you're on the barge. Then when you walk to the other breezeway, you're on the boat. Oh, okay. Now where's the food at? Because uh, I'm assuming... Yeah, the fish house is closed down. It's only open Thursday, Friday, and Saturday because they have a whole other restaurant that they have opened up in. I don't know where it's at. So come to find out this was Lady Luck Casino. I've been at this casino seven years. Wait, 16? No, yeah, almost six years. It says on my it says on my time thing it was like six years ago. So I said to myself, I said, I know I got a day tripping episode of this casino. And lo and behold, I do. So definitely. I'm going to link it up here somewhere so that y'all can go and check it out. But yeah, this is like Cruthersville, Cruthersville, Missouri. But they changed the name uh, after COVID. I, I asked them, I was like, well, what happened? What, why they changed the name? Dude was like, man, this was like, this casino went through like a whole bunch of name change. It was the I, the, it was the Isle Casino. Then it was something else. Then it was Lady Luck. And now it is Century Casino. Still the same thing. It's on a boat. <laughs> it's a uh, it's a boat casino. Only got a handful of table games. Uh, the Texas Hold'em wasn't running the last time I was here. And it's not running again tonight. They only had like maybe four tables. They had... Uh, one table of Mississippi stud and three tables of freaking blackjack. I was there when a lady hit $900 on, uh, on the Trillex. And their most popular table is the craps table. Actually, I was able to, you know, I got like 
I got like $20 out of the ATM because I wanted to get something to eat. But I was like, let me go ahead and play $5 on, uh, on, the, on the table right quick. The girl, the girl was shooting. I mean, she was hot. She was hot. I was able to get, I, I made $50 uh, from her. So I was able to get my $20 back and I got like what, 20, what, 50, 20, 30, I, $30. So I took about, I took about 10 of that, got me, uh, got me something to eat. Their cafe, their cafe still sucks, but I got something, you know, I got a burger and fry. Uh, didn't eat the bread and and only nibbled on the fries but i did eat the burger though um but yeah i got you know i got me a a, a, you know i got me a casino chip for a souvenir because the last time i had a souvenir you know somebody when i had let my when i put my truck in the shop somebody took my bucket of souvenir chips but yeah, Lady Luck Casino is now Century Casino in Cruthers, Cruthersville, Missouri. And they still, still got excellent truck parking. So if you guys is looking for, you know, looking for truck parking, and if you're in the area, I will highly suggest you guys come over here. Um, again, they don't have that many tables, but if you like to play craps, you probably might get uh you probably might get good on that. All right, let's go. Ryan Little. <laughs> Hey guys, what's going on? Lockout Men back again with tonight's commentary. Thank you for being here. I really do appreciate it. If you like content like this and more, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, hit that bell and that all button because that all button is the almighty like button. We trying to get 100 likes on each video. I, I don't understand. If we get like 100 views, why do I only get 10 15 20 likes man come on the like button is free you know and youtube keeps saying yo go ahead and make the outro you know don't forget to like subscribe comment share you should already know if you come up in the building if you like the video hit the like button if you don't hit the don't the dislike button i don't know man come on help a brother out man help a brother out well there we go um I was watching that. So, in tonight's commentary, man, we're gonna we we're gonna jump on what I heard in Trucker Brown's uh, live feed from a young lady named Faith. Um, I talked actually. I did the interview with Faith. I probably might put it up here somewhere, but um, but I did the interview with Faith. Faith back in the day nice young lady uh she's a caucasian woman she's uh getting big on her youtube i think she's about three thousand strong and she came on and she mentioned something to trucker brown about uh promoting the company you know trucker brown as you know trucker brown as myself is strong believers in not letting people know who we drive for you know especially if you get up in the if you get up in the subscribers and all like that you get like you know two thousand three thousand subscribers then somewhere somehow somebody in that midst is gonna be trolling and they're gonna want to know where you work at what truck you driving what color is the truck what size of the engine how long you been working there how how can we do this that and the third see i'm like this I said back in the day, as soon as I got, as I left uh, JNR Swoogle, I mentioned that I said I will never mention who or where I drive for again for several reasons. For several reasons. I did, when I went to Wooster Motorways, I said in the very first video, I said, this is where I rock out at. And I would never say the name no more. And then nobody from that point knew who I drive for. You know, I never put the truck in the video, never put the 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 the, the logo or anything like that. Because I, you know, when when people 
start finding out where you work at, they 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 start doing silly shit like calling your company and 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 try to snitch on you on what you say on YouTube. Hey, you know, we saw your driver on uh on YouTube doing a YouTube video and and you know he had the camera on him while he was driving and yada yada yada. I don't need that shit. I don't need that kind of shit. Why why are you trying to fuck with my money? <laughs> you know, or or you or you try to get on there and 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 try to mess up, you know, somebody's flow. Like Trucker Red, for example, he had to take all of his stuff down because somebody called on him. Somebody called on G seven one eight at one time on some bullshit. I don't need that. I, I honestly don't need that. So you really don't need to know who or what or where I drive for. Number one, they're not paying me. I agree with you, Trucker Brown, 100%. If you're going to promote a company, you need to get paid by that company, not just by, uh, what what do you call it, reference, uh, referrals, not just by referrals. Because if a company... And I guarantee you, because when you go on Facebook, Instagram, hell, even YouTube, they got a budget. That especially Facebook and Instagram, the the to get on Facebook and Instagram is not free. They got a budget. Same thing with getting in on them posters in the in the truck stops and in the in the magazines. That shit ain't free. They're not doing that for free. You gotta pay them. To get even to get on Sirius SM radio or or regular radio, you you pay for those spots. You pay for those commercial spots. Why not pay the driver that has a YouTube channel that that has about that has about five thousand subs, three thousand subs. That's three thousand extra people drivers that's peeping out what this driver has to talk about if he's going to talk about his company why not pay him and that's what i'm all about now i'm i'm all about that when i got when i got with wooster you know I, I i even told them they know that i had a youtube channel and i said well look you know i'm not gonna i'm not gonna you know promote the company that i work for unless you 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 want to put some extra money in my pocket? I'll do it. I don't have a problem with that. You, oh, if you want me to talk, I'll, I'll, I'll say the name through. I, I even put the name in the title, all that. Sponsored by Wooster Motorway. Sponsored by JNR Schwuger. Sponsored by you know whoever. If you're gonna pay me to mention the company name, then I'm all for it. But if I'm not gonna get paid. If I'm not going to get paid for that, <laughs> no, no, I'm good. You're going to have to pay me. <laughs> All right. Because y'all, the you guys is spending money on advertising on other platforms. Why not spend that money on the driver, especially if he has a popular YouTube channel? You know? But see, here's here's the caveat in that. Let me let me draw a little let me draw a little curveball right quick. See, major carriers love people that have YouTube channels. They did it back in the day with you know night transportation with with little dog and little guy. You know they came they came on with night transportation because they had popular youtube channels and that was the reason why they brought them on they got paid extra for that you know they was like drivers recruiters and they were still getting paid for that now me i came on with uh jnr schwugel and poof, i i i put jnr schwugel on the social media map and then after jnr schwugel got wind of it and they lighted it they started paying me extra so I was getting paid by the referrals because I, I was bringing in at least two, three people a week. And then I was getting paid extra, you know, for the promotion. And before I left, 
we 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 was about we was about to step it up big again but you know i decided you know i decided to leave and uh and you know pretty much changed the way i felt now so my advice to anybody and same thing with the advice that um that trucker brown Ryan Little. <laughs>